Hey, just Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode at this cool mirror right here, and pretty much what this is, is a waterproof camera. That's a 360 camera. You can see for the one that we got right here is from this brand, and it's called the Insta360 X3, which is one of the latest cameras that they do have with a 360 camera on here, which is really cool. And on top of all that, the actual camera itself or the actual product, it is waterproof. So it's actually really useful, especially if you guys want to capture like that waterproof or underground or even underwater uh, footage. If you guys turn on the side right here, they do probably got some specs and features about the product. So they mention how it does record in 5.7K, 360 capture, single lens mode. It has a 72 megapixel for the photo option. It has an active HDR video quality. It has an invisible uh, selfie uh, stick option. It has flow state stabilization, so that way your image is going to be very stable when you guys do use it. It has a 360 horizon lock, it's waterproof like I mentioned, it has voice control, and it has the AI power editing if you guys want to use that as well. And this is pretty much what the packaging looks like when you guys do get it. Let me actually open up to show you guys what's included inside. So once you guys do open up, the first thing inside right here, they do probably got the QR code for the scan for the app. And right here we do the product, but the bottom right here we do some more stuff. So let's take everything out first. So let's do open up. First thing inside right here, they do provide guys a USB to USB-C cable. So you use that to recharge the product. And underneath that, we do have some more stuff. So they do provide guys the sticker. They do provide guys a bunch of user manual to teach you guys how to set up and how to use it. If you guys open this right here, they do provide guys a cloth that you can use to wipe it down to make sure the lens and everything is clean and does have the uh, logo or brand name on there in 360. And the last thing inside right here, they do provide guys a little bag that you can use to store your stuff inside. And it's big enough for you to put the actual product inside, which is really cool. And that's everything that's included inside. The very last thing that we have right here is the actual product. So this is what the product looks on this side. Here is this side. Here is this side. Here is this side. And here's the bottom. So the bottom part right here is where you guys want to insert your tripod or your selfie stick when you guys do use it. And that's everything that's on here. So now let's take a look and see what's on here uh, more closely. So I believe throughout the product right here and probably on this side, it's either the speaker or the microphone that's built in for you guys to use when you guys are recording stuff on here. On this side right here, they mentioned how you do not want to remove the speaker cover. So I'm assuming it's this part right here. Yeah, so if you guys remove it, you can see the speaker right there. So maybe you're supposed to keep this on, I'm not sure. We'll figure out that in a second. But on this side right here, we do have a few buttons. So there's a power button and a Q button. If you guys do take a look at the instruction manual, they do show you guys what it's for. So I'm right here. And also on this side right here as well, there's a quick starter guide. So if you guys want to be more detailed, you guys can look at this instruction manual right here to show you guys how to use it. Fan part right here, we do have some more button for the use. And right here, we do have the screen. And obviously, the first time you're using it, you do have to remove the cover right here in the front and this side as well. And that is pretty much what the lens looks like right here. And here's the other side. If you guys open this part right here on this side, that is where you're plugging the cable to recharge it with the USB-C. And once you're done, it goes back up. On this side right here, they do provide guys instruction in terms of what you guys want to do. Let me see if I can focus it for you. So right there. So they mentioned how you guys want to pull out the battery first to insert a micro SD card. If you guys don't have one, then you guys want to get one first. And they mentioned how you guys want to make sure the battery cover and the USB cover are clean before closing it. Because if it does get wet, it's going to ruin the quality and the actual product. So let's do open it. You guys want to push both sides to open it like that. And right here is battery that's inside. So for these batteries, and feel free to purchase more of them. Uh, use it if you guys do need to. But when you guys do purchase it, they only give you guys one. But right here is what the inside looks like. Not sure if you can see or not, but inside right here, there's a little slot where you have to put in your SD card. So if you guys don't have one, you guys want to make sure to get one first. It is a micro SD card, not SD. So I do have one right here. I'm going to use the one from my GoPro. And the one that I'm using right here is from Sandus brand, that's 512, which is the extreme option, the highest one. So what you have to do is insert it in like this. Make sure it goes all the way in. Put the battery back inside. It should only fit one way. Just like that. Once you guys got it in, then you guys are pretty much ready to start using it. And throughout the product, if you can see, they do have the in here light to show you guys when it's on and off. But for right now, I'm actually turn it on and see what she looks like. All right, so I'm turning on right now. And the first thing I see inside right here, they show you guys how to set it up. So you want to change the different setting on here first for languages, etc. And they tell you guys to download the app. So I'm gonna download the app first. It should be called the Insta360 app. And for the app, I already have it because I actually have another Insta360 uh, device in the past that I reviewed. And that was like a more basic version where you just stick it onto your clothes or something. This one's a little bit more bulkier and much more higher quality. But what I do is click on plus right here to add your device. And we see in the bottom right here, I found a device. So I'm connected. 
So right now it's connecting to the app. And it tells you to confirm it on here as well. And while that's connecting, I want to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the product looks like when you guys do use it. If you guys can see the image quality and everything on here, it definitely looks pretty good. But the battery life on here is actually really low, so we need to charge it up. But pretty much on here, it shows you guys the resolution, the battery life, and also how much hours you can record on here. So using the 512, you can get around 9 hours of recording. And if you guys do press on this button right here, you guys can change different settings. So the first time in the product, they do show you guys how to use different buttons and what it's for. This one right here is a shutter button. So you tap it one time to take a photo or video. You guys can tap this to switch, uh, change the lens from the front or the back. You guys can tap the button on the side right here with this Q, and that's for the quick menu option. And that is pretty much how you guys use editing on here. So let's say for example, if I want to start recording, if I press on this button right here, let's give it a try. So before I actually test it out, we have to update the firmware first because that's actually a very important step to do first since it's required. So I'm gonna let it finish doing its own thing first. And I probably want to uh, plug in cable to make sure it's connected and charging. I don't want it to die midway while it's updating. So I'll plug it in the side right here. So right here, I do my cable. If I do plug it in, once you guys hear that little beep, that is how it's know when charging. And it will show you guys the indicator light on the screen. But I'll show you that in a second once we're done with this. All right, so we just finished updating it. If you guys can see right here, it shows you guys it is charging. So that is pretty much how you guys can see and how to know when it's charging. So once you guys are ready to use it, just press the button and start recording. So right now it's recording and we can see this is what the image quality looks like. And the cool thing about this product is the fact that when you guys do use it, you do have the option to uh, flip the camera to single lens or 360 lens depending based on your own preference. And you do have a lot of different options available from changing to video quality and photo quality. Let me pause the video and show you what I mean. And also before I do that, I do want to let you guys know that for the product when you guys do use it, it is touchscreen which is really nice as well. So it's right, left, right to change the different setting on here and also the different lens. You can see right there. But there's a lot of different options available for you when you guys do use it. So feel free to play around with it uh, how you guys want. And what I'm doing right now is to put it inside right here in this case to show you guys that it does work when you guys do use it. So you just put it inside like this. It fits in there perfectly so that way it's protected when you guys do use it, which is really cool. It is like padded but not like super padded. So if you guys do drop it, still be careful. And obviously for the product, you do have the option to control it on here or you can control it on the app once you guys do have it connected. So for example, if I do turn it on in the app right here, the screen turns off right here and it let you guys know. And this is what you guys would see. So you do have the option to use star laps, burst, interval, HDR photo, photo, video, time lapse, and obviously when you guys do use it, there's a lot of different options available for you to play around with in terms of change different mode. If you guys want it to be more high quality or less high quality, that's based on your own preference. And depending on which mode and which quality that you do use, some of them will allow you guys to use it for a longer period of time in terms of the recording amount that you use. Some of them could be higher or lower. So for example, if you guys use it the max quality and for video, then you guys can only get like up to nine hours that I showed you earlier. But if you guys use it for like other stuff, a lower quality, maybe 1080p or something, you can get a little bit longer than that. But that's pretty much everything that's on the product right here. So what I'm doing right now is to test it out to show you guys whether or not it's actually waterproof. So I should bring this over to a different room or like the restroom area and probably put this into water to show you guys whether or not it's actually waterproof and when it actually works. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so right here I do have the product. So I do turn it on. If I press record, it starts recording. Make sure everything's secure. Once everything's secured, if you guys do dump it in, if you see how it's still recording, if I do flip the camera, it won't let you guys when it's recording. So you guys need to pause it. If you guys do flip it, this is what it actually looks like. So this is inner lens. This is outer lens. 360 mode.
They give you guys the option to sw uh, swipe left and right, but you guys can't do it in the water, so you need to take it out. You can see how it still works. So the product definitely does work when you guys do use it, even when this does get wet. So it's waterproof. And they show you guys how to use it as well. So there's auto mode, there's manual mode, and all these other options available as well. It's a little bit harder for you to use it when it does get wet. And there's settings on here as well if you guys need to use it. So feel free to play around with how you guys want to use different mode. They have a lot of different modes available for you for the inner lens and outer lens. But I can see it is fully waterproof, so even if you guys get water on here, it is fine. So right now I'm holding it with my hand, but I'm doing a 360 mode. So this will actually look like. And I'm putting this on the ground right now, and this is what the coverage looks like. And this is what the audio sounds like when you guys do use it. Welcome back guys. So now so quick test the product and definitely actually does work, actually works quite well. You can see the image quality, the video quality and everything on here definitely works pretty well and it is fully waterproof. So if you guys do get water on here, it is fine. But you do want to make sure everything is dry before you guys open up because you don't want any water getting in. Otherwise it'll damage like the battery and etc. And obviously when you guys use the product, you do want to make sure it's fully charged before you use it. Because if it's not fully charged, then your battery will die pretty fast and you guys won't be able to use it for a long period of time to get the footage just one. And if you can see when we do test out the stabilization on here, it's actually pretty good as well. So I just have to buy like a separate gimbal stabilizer to use it to stabilize your video, which is even more awesome. But definitely the coolest thing about this product is the fact that how I should allow you guys to use a single lens or a 360 lens. So that way, if you guys want to use like a regular camera or if you guys want to get that 360 angle, like a wide angle view, you do have the option to change it back and forth if you guys want to. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to unboxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality uh, waterproof camera to use, whether if you guys want to use it indoor, outdoor, in a water setting or anything else, that also has everything that I mentioned in terms of the stabilization, the wide angle, the single lens option, and so much more, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have you want these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.